Hello and welcome to video 2 in our Index Laws video series. Video 2, we're having a look at multiplying indices. When we're multiplying terms with indices, we've got a squared times a to the 3. The rule is that we add those two indices together. a squared times a cubed is a to the power of 5. We add the 2 and the 3 together and create a new index there. Now why is that so? Well, I've shown you here that we've broken up the a squared down here and this section here is our a squared, a times a and there's a little times in between which is just our times here and a cubed could be written out as a times a times a so I think you could add up the number of a's that are in total here that are multiplying with each other and uh, realize that um, the total number of a's multiplying together is 5 so that's how we get a to the 5 so expanding it, writing it in expanded form down here really illustrates what's happening with the rule so when we're multiplying indices we add the indices now have a look, let's have a look, we've got a couple of extra front numbers here wonder how that works, well it doesn't complicate the rule much at all those front numbers, 6 and 4, just multiply with themselves normally. 6 times 4 is 24, so our first part of our rule is to multiply the front numbers normally. And the rest of it is exactly the same as what we said before. As a matter of fact, they're the same terms there, a squared and a cubed. We add the indices. So that's sort of a combination of two different rules. The front numbers multiply normally, and we add the indices. And that's a short run through of how we multiply terms with indices.